Hi, my name is Sebastian. I'm a support engineer at UbiDots, and in this video, we'll see how to provision devices and use them through Bellina to send data to UbiDots. The first step would be to sign up and create a new account at Bellina. After having created your account, your first step will be to create a fleet, which are the settings that will go through a group of devices. In this case, we'll create a fleet that will hold Raspberry Pi 4s. After having created the first fleet, you can add a new device. In this case, you'll have to select the device, the operating system it will have, the version, and you can also select if the device is going to be connected only through Ethernet or through Ethernet and Wi-Fi. In this case, I'm going to add the Wi-Fi from here at our UbiDots office. At this step, we're going to try and flash the firmware onto an SD card, which we will then mount onto the Raspberry Pi. We can do this through two ways, either by clicking on Flash, which will automatically open Bellina Etcher, or we can download the Bellina OS to a file. In this case, I'm going to download it to a file here at my Bellina folder. While the firmware for the Raspberry Pi finishes downloading, we're going to open up the Bellina Etcher. Now that the firmware for the Raspberry Pi has downloaded, let's upload it onto Bellina Etcher. You'll know which file you have to select because it begins with Bellina and it includes the fleet name that we created earlier. In this case, I'll be saving this image into a 16 gigabyte SD card. Bellina recommends to have an SD card with the fastest speed available, as this will cut down the times of the flashing. The next step would be to download the Bellina CLI so that you can run commands through your terminal. In order to install the Bellina CLI, we can go through to the tutorial on how to set up the Raspberry Pi 4. From there, you can install the CLI for Mac OS, Windows, or for Linux. We are going to add the directory in which we downloaded the CLI into our path. This is so that we can run the Bellina commands from any directory in our terminal. The next step would be to log in into the Bellina from the terminal. We recommend doing the web authorization as it's a really quick and straightforward process. Now that we've installed the Bellina CLI, we can go to the code portion of this video. You can use any code editor that you want. In this case, we'll be using Visual Studio Code. We'll have to use basically two files, so a Docker file and the code that the Raspberry Pi will be running. In this Docker file, in short words, uh, we'll have a recipe of commands that will help provision and set up the Raspberry Pi for its correct functioning. The first command will be to specify which OS you'd like to install into your Raspberry Pi. To know which ones are available, you can easily search through Bellina's website. In this case, since we'll be using a DS18B20 sensor, we need to install a couple of libraries. This one will be 
for the sensor itself and the request libraries will be to send data to UbiDots. The third command is basically to tell the Raspberry Pi into which directory we will be saving all the code into. The fourth command is to copy the code. And this last command is to enable the one wire protocol in the Raspberry Pi. In this code, we have two portions, the part that reads the temperature from the sensor and the part that sends the data to UbiDots. In this case, we will be using the OS library in order to get the environment variables and import them into the code. These environment variables can be set up through Belina, and this is one of the coolest features that they offer. To be able to set and change variables through Belina's dashboard, and they will automatically be set up into the code. In this case, we have three environment variables, sleep, device, and Ubi token. So the sleep will be, well, as you can see, a sleep or a delay that we will have into the code. The device will be the label of the device that will be created in UbiDots, and the Ubi token will be the token for authorization of sending the data to your account. Before uploading this to Belina and mounting the SD card to the Raspberry Pi, we need to add one line of code to a settings file in order to accept the one wired protocol. From Belina's tutorial, we can see that it's necessary to add this line into the config.txt file of your flash, of your SD card. Now that we've done that, we can now upload the code into Belina. To do that, simply from the terminal, go to the directory where the code is saved and run the command Belina push and the name of your fleet. The code will begin to upload and you know that it was successful once you see a unicorn. In the meantime, we can now upload the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and connect it to the power source. You'll have to wait a couple minutes before it will automatically appear under your devices in Belina. Now we can see that the device has been created in our Belina dashboard. From here we can see a lot of stats like the CPU load on the Raspberry Pi, the temperature. While this is being set up, I'd like to create the variables that we needed for the code. So if you remember, it was sleep, device, and Ubi token. In this case, I'll add a 10 second sleep between each loop of obtaining the temperature and sending it to UbiDots. The next variable would be to add the device. In this case, we'll be adding its label. So I'll add RPI for Galena. At last, for the Ubi token, you will need an active account. If you haven't already done so, please create one at ubidots.com. In order to get the UbiDots token, simply go to API Credentials and copy the token. Once these variables have been set, Molina will upload the newest version of the container into the Raspberry Pi, including the changes of the variables that we just did. If we go to the Devices menu in UbiDots, we can now see the new device that was automatically created, and we can now see the data that is being sent from Belina to UbiDots. From here we can see that the data is being sent roughly every 10 seconds. If we'd like to get data running a little faster, we can easily change this through the variables. 
all we'd have to do is change the sleep variable to a, a smaller value. In this case, I'll make it so that every two seconds a temperature reading will be sent. Now we can see that the data is coming in roughly every two seconds. As a quick test, I place the temperature probe between my fingers and you can now see that the temperature has been increasing. Now that we saw the whole process of provisioning devices through Bellina and to get them to send data to UbiDots, you can now go on and create your own IoT applications. Thank you for watching.